Hey everyone, my name is Adam Fife. I'm a local business leader, real estate agent, coach, and content creator. And today, I'm gonna to talk about why Calgary, Alberta is one of the best cities in Canada and why you should consider moving here. Let's go. One of the very first things I can think of when thinking Calgary is the diversity of geography. I absolutely love what Calgary has to offer in a 100 kilometer radius. You've got badlands, flatlands, valleys, rivers, forest, rolling hills, mountains, anything that you could think of to keep you busy on a weekend away from home. Next, let's talk about Calgary weather. Now, Calgary weather is almost like a family function of mine. You go in it thinking that you know what's gonna happen, it's going great, and then all of a sudden, you have no idea what's going on. Now, I absolutely love my family, no knock against them, but Calgary weather is whack. The nice thing about Calgary in the wintertime is we actually get quite a bit of warm air coming from the Pacific Ocean over the Rocky Mountains and warming down the city quite a bit called Chinooks. One day, negative 20, next day, plus five. It's absolutely insane. Another thing that I really like about Calgary weather is that it has dry air. So unlike Vancouver or Toronto, the air here is super dry. I would much prefer having one of the sunniest cities in Canada offering around 330 sunny days per year, where Vancouver is very damp, rainy, and cloudy. I would also prefer Calgary over Toronto where it's very damp, wet, and just awkwardly slushy in the wintertime. Calgary has a beautiful mix of weather ranging in all spectrums. Isn't this crazy? What a view. Calgary has some of the most affordable housing in all of Canada. With a benchmark price of 581,000, it makes it one of the most affordable housing markets in all the major metropolitan cities. Now, let's do a little bit of a comparison just to see what they are. The current benchmark price for a home in Montreal is 504,000. For a home in Greater Vancouver area is 1.8 million. For a home in Ottawa, Ontario is 702,000. For a home in Edmonton is 453,000. But let's be honest, who actually wants to live there? Now wait, I can say that because I actually did. The current benchmark price for a home in Winnipeg is 364,000, but it's a little cold. For a home in Hamilton is 874,000. The current benchmark price for a home in Canmore is 1.1 million. Now you're right in the mountains and it's only 45 minutes away from Calgary, so you're doing pretty good. The current benchmark price for a home in St. John's, Newfoundland is only 291,000. Like mentioned before, Calgary has one of the most affordable housing in all of Canada. With views like this and houses like that, it's crazy not to consider Calgary as your next home. As I stand out front of the Calgary Embassy, I'm reminded of another reason of why I absolutely love Alberta. And that's because we have a 5% sales tax. Alberta is one of the only provinces that doesn't provincial sales tax allowing Albertans to save money on every single purchase. Now that coupled with no land transfer tax has really allowed Albertans to save money on every single home they purchase. Now one of the things I definitely wanted to highlight was Calgary's food. Because Calgary is one third foreign born you will find that there's a lot of different styles of food in the city. As I stand on Stephen Ave, you will notice that there is quite a few restaurants that you can select from with different styles of food. But as you start to adventure out into different communities and different areas of the city, you will find that there's a lot of different cultural foods there. If you're looking to explore your taste buds, Calgary is a perfect place for that. You know, the next thing that I want to highlight, and one of the reasons why I really love Calgary, is something that I don't think is talked about very often, like I said before. But it's wildlife photography. It's an absolutely beautiful hobby that quite a bit of people are doing and there's a lot of world famous photographers that live in the Canmore, Calgary area. If you're looking to take photos of moose, birds, lynx or cougars, bears, deer or anything of that nature, this place is beautiful for that. Now I'm pretty lucky to say that my fiance Sam has a pretty nice camera and she does enjoy taking some photos of animals which are here and here and a couple like this and a little bit like that. But it is absolutely an amazing hobby to have, especially when you're going out and you're on a nice hike, it's a beautiful day, you kind of keep your eyes peeled in the distance and you never know what you're gonna find. Massive shout out to my first local business highlight and his name is Brandon T. Brown. He's a photographer out of Canmore, Alberta and he has two stores, one in Canmore, one in Banff. 
He has made a career out of taking wildlife photography photos. He has done such an immaculate job of highlighting some of the unique characteristics of each individual animal. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get his permission before the video, so I can't show you any of his work, but I will link his website below. Highly recommend you check it out. He has such an amazing ability to capture different species of wildlife. Another thing I do want to highlight about Calgary, which I personally love, and I think this is one of the most important things for me, is the outdoor activities. Now, I am a sucker for equipment. I love having an assortment of equipment, allowing me to do different things. If you're looking for rock climbing, downhill biking, cross country skiing, downhill skiing, a river float, just want to get on a boat on a lake, Calgary has so much to offer in its vicinity that it's absolutely mind blowing. If you're here and you want to explore a couple different activities, then just get out there and adventure. That's not to go without saying the parks. Calgary has a beautiful amount of parks. Bonas Park, Baker Park, Fish Creek, Princess Island, it goes on. Calgary has an abundance of different parks in the city, allowing you the opportunity to just get out there and go for a hike after work and just explore some new nature. You know, another reason why I absolutely love Calgary is because of the amount of activities and events they have going on. They have something going on every single month. We've got two sporting teams, a BMO Conference Center, which is doubling in size, a revitalization of the Stampede Grounds, the Stampede Park, which is a 10-day rodeo, the world's largest, might I add. We have a theme park, a zoo, as well as a ski hill, all within the city limits. So no matter what you're trying to do, no matter the season, Calgary has something going on for you. This next one might be controversial for some people, depending on where they live in the city, and I completely understand that. But one of the reasons that I really like Calgary is the traffic. Now, if you're coming in from Airdrie or you live in the Southeast or you live near Chinook Center, the traffic there is going to be brutal. But for the most part, depending where you live and where you work, the traffic really isn't that bad. The road work here is pretty decent, so you get to avoid a lot of those main intersections if you know how to get in and out of the city. So this is really important to where and why you pick a certain place and buy a certain house. Wow, if you made it through that whole video, I just want to say thank you. Comment below, let me know who you are because I do want to repay this some way, somehow. I definitely underestimated how long that was going to take. So the fact that you pushed through it really does mean a lot to me. There were some areas where the wind was a little bit too noisy, that the camera was out of focus, and just a few things that I learned along the way. So I have a lot of ideas of what I want to do between now and Christmas, and I'm very excited to see how it unfold. So please let me know what you think. I'm really excited to see how this works out. Until next time, peace.